In this sponsored tutorial, we're going to learn how to create digital licenses for plugins and themes. So if someone buys a plugin or theme from you, you have a site that makes sure that license is active and correct and it communicates with all your customer sites to make sure their licenses are active if they're using your plugins and themes. And you can tie it in with the Envato Marketplace. You can sell your plugins and themes right through your website and even through a WooCommerce add-on that's also available from the same developer as this plugin. So if you ever wondered how the digital product licensing works, how developers can make that happen, this video is for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you've not done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started. This is the plugin we're using for this tutorial. It's called Elite Licenser, created by Has Themes, and it will allow us to add licensing code to our plugins and themes so that you can sell them and then only people with an active license are able to actually use them. And I'm sure you've seen this from a customer's perspective. Now you're gonna learn how to do it from a developer's perspective. Just to show you what I mean, illustrate a little further, here we have yearly and lifetime options to buy this very plugin. And if we click on the buy now, there's gonna be a little pop-up where we can now input our credit card details or PayPal. And when we buy it, we now have an active license created by Elite Licensor. And that license can now be input into the plugin on our website and it verifies with the server that it's actually an active license. And all that, all that licensing is taken care of by Elite Licensor. It is pretty slick. I have it installed on this website right here, our demo domain. And you can have hundreds of plugins or themes connected to your Elite Licensor. And that then licenses all those to maybe thousands or tens of thousands of customers. So you're not limited in the product amount if you buy the appropriate size plan here. We have uh, the agency for unlimited products and the regular for 10 products. That's true for both yearly and lifetime. So if you have the unlimited products one, you can have unlimited products, unlimited plugins, unlimited themes. You can connect them to Envato through this plugin. I'll show you that a little bit later on. First, I'm going to actually show you how to add the licensing code to a plugin and then have that actually be licensed through the Elite Licensor. The first thing we have to do is create a product inside of Elite Licensor. So we're going to go to the product list. We're gonna click on add new. In the product name field is where you enter the name of your plugin. The one we're using is called, was this helpful? It's a really simple plugin. It's not in the WordPress repository. It's just for demo purposes in this video. So that's the name of it. The slug is gonna be this in lowercase with dashes in between. So just like this, was dash this dash helpful. The request encryption, we're gonna auto generate this. And this is basically whether or not communication between the server and the website is gonna be encrypted. You have to turn this on, otherwise you get an error. For renew license, I'm gonna enter a URL, and this can take you to a sales page, like this one for example, where someone can check out and buy a new license for that plugin, or it could be, if you have WooCommerce, it could be a specific link to a cart page with the product auto-filled, then all you have to do is click on buy now and pay. So this page basically goes to a place where someone can renew. And how this shows up is when the license expires, it will add a link on the plugin page. So if you go to the plugin page, for example, it would show up in this string of links down below here. There'd be a pipe character added, and then it would say renew or upgrade or something like that. They click on that link, and that would take them to whatever this page is that you input here. We're gonna activate check license and support expiry on update. When someone updates the plugin, it's gonna check whether you have active license or support. If you don't, it won't update the plugin. You can send updates and plugins to all your client websites through Elite Licensor, which is pretty awesome. I'll show you that in just a bit. This option we can leave turned off. Click on save. And now we have our new product added. I didn't turn it on, it says inactive here. So let's go to edit and let's change it to active. Let's turn that on and then click on update. And now we have an active license. And we have a big green button here saying generate license script. If you're a developer, this is where you wanna go. If you're making this plugin or theme for WordPress, click this radio button, click on next. It then creates the script for you. You download the script. Let's just see what this looks like. I just unzipped that archive that we downloaded by clicking on download script. And in these folders, you have all of the code that you need to add, actually just a file. You need to add this file to your plugin or theme then you'll be able to easily connect to Elite Licensor and authenticate plugins and themes. So it doesn't get much easier than that, but it actually does. And I'll show you what I mean in just a few minutes. First, we're gonna finish our licensing process or the, the back end setup we have to do for our licensing process. So we have our product created. Now we have to create a license type or multiple license type, then connect those to our product 
and then we have an actual completed system where you have products and license types connected and people can buy them in whatever configurations that you offer. So if you go to license type, go to add new, I'm going to add in here, was this helpful monthly? I'm going to turn this on and it's going to be 30 days. This is the number of days that the license is valid when someone buys. So this would be a recurring subscription, for example. This would be set up through your payment gateway, whether it's a recurring subscription or not. And 30 days is the length of time this license is, is active. The day interval for the support at 30 days, same as the length of the license. Extra parameters for developers who want to add extra conditions or extra information to the license response to do something specific with the plugin itself. This would not be used very often. Max domains is how many domains the plugin can be installed on. So depending on your license type, maybe this is one, maybe this is a hundred, maybe this is a thousand, just depends on what your license type is. Verification required, we set to zero to turn that on. Status on, click on save. And now we have a monthly license available. I'm gonna click on add new, and we're gonna make a yearly one. So let's go to, was this helpful annual? Turn on enabled expiry in days. It's gonna be 365 for one year has support end days, day interval, 365, same thing, max domain, one, verification zero, status on. So this annual license, if we go back to our elite licensor page, we're currently on annual or yearly here. This license would be associated with one of these. This would be an annual license. Now we're gonna create a lifetime license that you'd associate with something like this on a sales page. To do that, let's go to add new. Was this helpful lifetime? We're not gonna turn this on because we don't want it to expire, it's lifetime. We're gonna choose unlimited for support. We're gonna choose one domain again, zero and on. And this, again, this one domain is how many domains you can install the plugin on or the customer can install the plugin on. So you wanna change this according to whatever you're offering your customers. Click on save. And now we have a monthly, a yearly and a lifetime option. Don't worry about the days of expiry, that's auto-filled. If we go to edit, we see it's turned off and when this is grayed out then the days of expiry don't apply even though you might see them there don't worry about that it is actually no expiry date with unlimited support so don't worry about the 30 in there now we have license types and we have a product i want to connect the two so let's go to product licenses let's click on add new we're going to choose our product from the drop down choose our license type from the drop down and turn it on Click on save. And we're gonna keep doing this for all the different license types that we have available for this product. In this case, we only have three, but you might have four, five, six, 10. Who knows what you're creating or how it's gonna be used. You might also just have one. We just have three in this example. And now they're all linked. So now I could have a sales page linking to these three options that people can buy. And then, then we have the elite licensor take care of the actual licensing. So you might be wondering how you do the payment integration. This plugin integrates with FastSpring. If you go to the integration tab here, go to FastSpring. It has all the information you need to link FastSpring to Elite Licensor. And then when someone buys, they'll be added to the client's page with the correct license that they bought with all the correct expiries and all that. Elite Licensor, or sorry, SoftSpring is also used on the HasThemes page. If you click on buy now on any product on hasthemes.com, you're gonna see up here, secure checkout by FastSpring, and this is their checkout. And so that is done through Fast Spring, the purchases, or alternately, Envato, because you also have, under integrations, the Envato tab. You connect to Envato, and then whenever a purchase is made on the Envato site, you then have the clients created in here, and with all licensing expirations and all that, how they're supposed to be, depending on what they bought. For now, because we're not actually going through a purchase, I have to create a client manually. To do that, I go to the Clients tab, I click on Add New, I give this person the name, it's gonna be me. Company, WP Learning Lab, email, Bjorn at Launchtime Media. Bjorn at WPLearningLab.com is used to activate Elite Licensor. So I don't wanna use that to create licenses for the plugin on a different website because that's not how a customer would be operating because they wouldn't use your email address to purchase their products, so that'd be weird. For the country, Canada, status, active, save, close. So now I have a client. Now that we have a client, 
we can add a license to my client account. To do that, we go to license list. And this would be automatically done when you're connected to FastSpring or Envato. We just have to do it manually because we're not doing the purchase aspect of this. Click on add new on license list, search for the client, in this case me, select the product, select the license, give myself a lifetime license, enter this information again, doesn't have an expiry, unlimited support, auto generate the license code, status, give it to me for free, click on save, click on close, and now we have a license key generated for us right here. And this license key, as you can probably guess, is gonna be used to authenticate our purchase. So I told you earlier that you can get your code that you need to authenticate with Elite Licensor from the product list by clicking on here. And just to quickly review, you can use WordPress, PHP applications, csharp.net, vb.net, and Java is coming soon. And if you click on any one of these, it'll download the code you need to add to whatever your plugin or theme is or whatever your script is. That's the manual way. There's also an automatic way. Down here, there's a WordPress auto license integration. So clearly it's only for WordPress. And if you have a WordPress plugin or theme, all you have to do is click on update, new plugin or theme, select the product we wanna connect it to. Here's a warning saying that the slug of the plugin or theme has to be the same as the products slug in Elite Licensor. To see the product slug, we go back to product list, click on edit beside our product, and this is the product slug right here. You can also see it right here in the table. So this has to match to whatever slug the plugin or theme is going to generate inside of its own code. So you gotta make sure those match. So I'm gonna upload our plugin now. This is it right here. Was this helpful? It has an admin menu. Don't turn this on if it doesn't. The icon class, we use dash icon. So if I go to dash icons, let's just use a thumbs up. This is WordPress's own icon set. So let's just copy this class right here. And we paste that into here. In here, you can add license instructions that'll be shown above the license box. It's not required, but you can add text in here or images or even video, because you can add media. Let's click on next. And now the Elite Licensor is gonna add the code that's required to our plugin, and it's all done. We can download the license version. We can also download the encrypted version. Let's say you wanted to have an encrypted plugin or theme that you only share with very specific clients, and it needs to be highly secure. You can choose the encrypted version. If you're making plugins just for the WordPress repository or Envato, you would choose just the licensed version. Click on download, and now we have our licensed plugin right here. You can tell from the name, this was the original plugin we uploaded. This is the new one that we just downloaded. It has licensed at the end. This is the plugin or theme that we would sell because it has the ability to connect to Elite Licensor. So if I go to a different website, this website here is wp-phd.com. And if we go to any other website, we can now install this licensed plugin. So let's go to elementor2019.com, one of my other websites, click on plugins and then add new, upload plugin. Let's just drag and drop it from our finder. There's our plugin there. Make sure it's the licensed one, the one that you'd actually sell to customers. Click on install now. Click on activate. We see in the bottom corner a little admin menu here, admin menu item. Was this helpful? If I click on that, it takes us to our licensing page. Right above here is where the text would appear that we could have entered. If we get to it. Oh, it's gone now. But as we added the plugin, there's that text box where we could have entered text or images or video that would appear right above these boxes. So now we need to authenticate our license. And if this was a real customer, they'd receive an email with their serial number or their license code. And Elite Licensor emails those out as well. I'll show you that in just a minute. But first, let's actually activate this thing. So we need the license code. If we go back to our license list, we created this earlier. Let's copy that and let's paste that in here. Click on activate. And now we're inside of was this helpful? Right here, now we have settings and feedback. This is an unfinished plugin. It's super basic. There's nothing really going on, it's just for an example for this video. And we have now authenticated the plugin with Elite Licensor. And now if we refresh this page, it should show the user's domain right here. So let's refresh. 
and there it is. Here's the domain name and the IP address. And so the plugin that we installed on this domain is clearly communicating with Elite Licensor on this domain because it's authenticated, it's shared where it's been authenticated, and it's going to check at a, on a regular interval whether the license is actually still active. So if they stop paying after whatever number of days, however, whatever length of license is, they will no longer have access. It'll just be shut down on this end. If it's a lifetime purchase and you set it up like I showed you earlier, that won't happen. But if it's a yearly or a monthly purchase, that can happen and it happens automatically. You can also do it manually if you want to. So I could go to edit over here and I could change the status from active to refunded or inactive. Click on update. I have a message up here, successfully remove license key from domain and this domain right here. Click on close. If I come back out here and refresh, can't have access to that page because our license has been revoked. But if I go to the main dashboard, we see was this helpful is back at the bottom here and the license code box is back. If I enter the license code again, click on activate, it says your purchase key has been temporarily activated. If it was refunded, it would be a different message. If you were deleted from here, it would be a different message. And so that is how we can validate licenses for plugins and themes. It's pretty awesome. So let's look at the emails now. So if we have a customer who purchases, we want to tell them about their license key. We have two emails auto-created. We have the client welcome message and the new license created message. The client welcome message you can probably turn off because the license created message is kind of the welcome message as well. So you don't want to send two of them. So I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to turn off the client welcome message and then I'm going to go to the new license created message. Click on edit. We can change the text in here to welcome them to your company and to congratulate them on their purchase. And then it has their license key information here. We also have other variables we can add on the right hand side, as you see here. And this email is automatically sent out when a customer purchases a license. And here's an example of the email that's sent out. It replaces all the variables with the actual data. And that's that. That's how simple it is with Elite Licensor. Let's take a look at the rest of the options available. We've taken care of all the tabs up here. That's what we need for the basic setup of any plugin or theme. The product updates tab allows you to add updates that are then pushed out to all your clients. If we click on add new here, or all your customers or clients, depending on what you call them, we choose our product. We choose the version number, let's say 1.0.1. .1. We can have a banner image. This one's usually not required. The change log is what you've changed in the plugin. The update description is the update description. These can both be the same thing. That's no problem. This is the version of WordPress required. So maybe you need at least version 5.4 and it's been tested up to 5.5. And this is the download link. You might be storing these files in Amazon S3 or some other cloud service. You need to enter the download link here. And when you click save, it will then show up if this was active we go to plugins and then it will add an update link to whatever plugin you just pushed that update out for. So that's how we do product updates. The API list is where you actually form a connection between shops on the internet and your Elite Licensor. So for example, if we click on add new and we had, for example, a WooCommerce store, we can create an API key. We're going to auto generate it. The API IP field allows you to limit the access for this API to specific IPs. So for example, if you created a plugin that was very top secret, you're only going to be allowing it to be used on one IP address. You'd add that IP address here and this CA API key would not work anywhere else. So you can use that to create top secret stuff if you wanted to. If you're developing for WordPress or other online stores, just keep this blank. Turn the status to on. Then we can choose the API permissions. These are the things that the API key can do on Elite Licensor. And generally, these will always be on. And then we click on Save. And now we have our API key, and that can be added wherever it needs to be added to connect to Elite Licensor. If you're connecting to Envato, there's an easier way. You go to the Integration tab over here, go to the Envato tab, and here's where you add your Envato API key. If you don't know how to do this, click on this, and it will walk you through the steps for getting this done. And we'll just quickly walk through this so we can see how the Envato connection with the Elite Licensor looks. So let's go to this page, then we sign in and go to My App, click on Sign In, and then actually sign in, and then go to My Apps, they're listed right here, and then we scroll down 
two of my personal tokens right here. Click on create new token. And then we see a form, give it a name and choose these minimum permissions. I'll just choose all permissions. Let's call it elite licensor. And let's just choose all these permissions. Choose the ones you think that are appropriate. The ones listed here are the minimum ones you need. These are minimum permissions for the licensor to work with your Envato account. So instead of cross-referencing and going back and forth to seeing which ones I need, I'm just going to choose all of them for the sake of brevity. Click on Create Token. Now we have our token here. Let's copy that. Check this. Choose Woohoo, got it. Close this, paste it in here. Click on Save. So the API status over here changed from the red notification box to the actual information on my account. So that's how you know it worked. And now we can upload plugins and themes and connect them with Elite Licensor. So when they're bought from Envato, Elite Licensor takes care of all the licensing. To make that work, there's a little bit more setup. We have to have an Envato regular license and an Envato extended license. You'd select them from here. These are our license types. We don't have those created, but you just go into license type and just add a new one. Let's just call this Envato Regular. And I don't know how long the Envato Regular is. I think it's 60 days and 60 days and then one and then zero and then status on, save. Now let's go back to our integration. Choose our regular license from here. We want to do the same thing for the extended license. Let's just choose this one because it wants me to choose one. And now that those are set up, we need to actually add products for our Envato Marketplace. We do that over here. Click on Add New Link. Let's choose our product. We only have one on this site. You might have hundreds on yours, like I was saying at the beginning. We can choose which site to list this on. Code Canyon is normally where plugins are. Theme Force is normally where themes are. You can choose Code Canyon. And now inside of Code Canyon, you would have created a product and we link that right here. So was this helpful as the product in Elite Licensor? This would be the product inside of Code Canyon. I don't have any products in my Code Canyon. If I did, this is where I connect them right here. I click on Save, and then that connection is made. So when that product is bought on Code Canyon, Elite Licensor knows that's connected to this product here, and it, it attaches the correct license, either regular or extended, and then everything else is taken care of for you. So that's pretty awesome. And then sign through your website, like we saw, use FastSpring because that integrates with Elite Licensor. And request Manage is where we can manage the requests that the Elite Licensor makes to our customer's website to check if their plugins are active, whether the licenses are still active, whether the plugin's actually active on the website. If we click on Add New, we can add a request item. So let's type in here yearly check, for example. So if you sell plugins that expire after a year, we change this to one year, and we then go and check after one year if this plugin is still active, if the license is still active, everything like that. And I chose one year from these drop downs here. You can also choose hours, days, weeks, or months, and whatever number you enter here. So you could check every five hours. But if you have a significant number of clients listed inside Elite Licensor, and you're checking all of them every certain number of hours, that is going to wear down your server bandwidth. So you don't want to do that unless you absolutely have to. It's better just to check on the intervals that are required. So you can set up one that happens yearly and one that happens monthly, for example, for your two different monthly and yearly subscriptions if those were the two that you had. I'm going to choose the counter as one and then turn this on. And then this will check every single year to make sure the app, theme, or plugin license is still active and is still installed in the site. If it turns out that they didn't pay, and it's not active anymore, the subscription isn't active, this will automatically deactivate the plugin on whatever site needs to be deactivated on. So that makes your life pretty darn easy. We've checked out email templates, integration, WordPress auto integration. There is one add-on currently available, it's for WooCommerce. So if you sell digital products through WooCommerce, you can use Elite Licensor to generate licenses for those digital products using this add-on. Let's go to settings. Under settings, we have just information about the plugin. You don't need to spend too much time here. There's just a handful of items here to help you manage your Elite Licensor. For most users, you won't be in here at all. 
Probably the most important option here though is the auto ban host. So on 10 failed requests, that IP address that's requesting the licenses or requesting the activation of a license, after failing 10 times, that IP is gonna be blocked. So if someone has, for example, the wrong serial number or the wrong license code and they keep trying it over and over 10 times, they'll be blocked. Maybe they found a website of active license code for certain plugins and they're just trying one after the other. After 10 fails, they're banned. And when they're banned, they're added to this list so you can see who's banned. You can also unban people. You can delete the ban in case it is a legit customer who's just having trouble entering their license code. And license info is the information about your specific elite licensor installation on your website. And if you like what you see with this plugin, make sure you go to this page, hasthemes.com forward slash elite dash licensor. I've linked to it in the description down below and you can buy yourself a copy here. There is a 70% discount right now on lifetime and yearly plans. So if you are interested and it looks good, this is a great product to help you automate your business or start your business for your plugin and theme licensing needs. So check it out. And next up is watching this video right here where I show you how to create a plugin for WordPress. It's a basic plugin, but it shows you all the basics on how to create plugins. Then you can use the Elite Licensor to sell copies to it. If that video is not quite ready yet, I'll have a video here about WordPress site speed and improving your site speed. So check out whatever video is here and make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.